So today we're going to use Organizer to set up, set up a single tabbed page to access all our Dockers. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a patron and supporting the channel you love. So welcome to Technodad Life. And today what we're going to do is install the Organizer Docker. And so Organizer it makes it really convenient if you have multiple Dockers that you access where you have on a single page, uh, you can access every single Docker without going uh, back and forth between web browsers or web pages. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is go to Docker Hub Linux Server Organizer and scroll down to where it has the Docker Compose file. And then we're going to go to our portainer, open up Stacks, and then Add Stack. And so we're going to name this Organizer. Go back to Linux Server, copy this whole thing. Paste that into portainer. And so we need to modify a few things. We need to take the quotes off. Our PUID is going to be 1000. Our PGID is 100. We need to put in our time zone here. For me, it's America, New York. And then for our path, so we need to go to our Open Media Vaults, go to Shared Folders, and click the down arrow, click Columns, Absolute Path. Copy our App Data Path, paste that into a word processing program, hit Slash, and then Organizer. Copy that. Go back to Portainer and paste that here where it says Path to Data. Ports we're going to leave at 9983,80 and unless stopped, we're going to unclick Access Control and then we're going to click Deploy Stack. And then we're going to get a cup of coffee while this is happening. Once that's done, you'll see there's an Organizer tab and let's go to Containers and the organizer container is up and running. So what we need to do is copy our IP address. Then we need to paste that in a new browser and put colon 9983. Hit enter. And that will bring up the login page for organizer. So put in a name, an email address, and then a password. And then click register. And so now we're into and so now we're into the organizer GUI and what we're going to do is start adding our dockers to it so then we can easily get the dockers added. And I'll show you now with two different dockers to see how it differs. So what we want to do is click on the red tab here where it says edit tabs. And then we want to click on new tab, the green button. So here what we need to do is type the name of our Docker. And so this one is going to be NZV gets. And then we need to paste in here the URL of that Docker. So if we go over to NZB get, we just copy this and then paste it in there. And then for image, what we want to do is click view icons. And there is the NZB get one. And so it copies it when you click on it and then click paste and leave as is. So next, if you click test frame, go back to NZB get, copy the IP address again, paste it in there and then click check frame URL. It says it can be framed. And so basically this is seeing if that can be displayed in the organizer frame here. And if we click Save Tabs, it says it has been saved. And then you want to click on this Apply Changes. And for Firefox, you have to click Resend, and it restarts again. 
And so now you can see the NZB get symbol is over here and the page shows up just as it is there. So let's try something different. So here we're going to click Edit Tabs again, then click a new tab. And so this tab is for Wireshark. So we're going to click Wireshark, copy the IP address, paste that in for the address there. Now for Wireshark, if we click the view icons, there is no icon here for Wireshark. So what we do is click upload icons, and if you've downloaded one, you can browse, click on Wireshark, and there it shows the Wireshark icon, and it says click here to copy, so you just click it, and then you can paste it there. And again, you can save tabs, apply changes, resend. So now you can see we have NZB gets and Wireshark, and we can go back and forth between the two easily. Now, some other things that you might want to know about Organizer, if you go to their wiki, they have tutorials where you can add domain names, setting up a server, and even reverse proxy. And so what that will let you do is log into your, all your Dockers from outside of your network, but only have one page that you have to access rather than having all your separate ones for each of your different Docker images. So it makes it a lot easier, a lot more organized, especially if you're doing things with multimedia. And so that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and you have a great day. Bye-bye.